The hills are alive. With silent, waiting ticks. Their bites can transmit bacteria that cause Lyme disease and other things that can make us very sick. Protected by these palps is a menacing mouth, covered in hooks. First, she has to find a host. She can sense animals like us by the carbon dioxide we give off. She reaches out with her front legs. Scientists call this questing. It will use that claw to latch onto something, like your sleeve. Now you see her. Now you don't. Once aboard, she searches out a nice spot to bite into, for blood. She lives three years, but in that time, she only eats three meals. A tick needs enough blood to grow from larva to nymph. Nymph to adult. And then for females to lay their eggs. Gross. Let's check out a nymph, a young tick. It's tiny, smaller than a freckle. To grow into an adult, it needs one blood meal, a big one. The front of its body is all mouth. It digs into us using two sets of hooks. The hooks wriggle into the skin. They pull our flesh out of the way and push in this mouth part, the hypostome. Those hooks anchor the tick to us for the long haul, like mini harpoons. While the speedy mosquito digs in, sucks our blood, and splits, all within seconds, a tick nymph stays on for days. Three days, if we don't find it before then. Compounds in their saliva help blood pool under the surface of our skin. The nymph sips it through its mouth parts, like drinking from a straw. When a tick is full, and I mean completely full, it falls off wherever it may be. Maybe onto your bed. That's if you don't nab it first. We at Tick Key International Inc. would like to thank our United States military. We are grateful to you, our troops and canines, for your service and selflessness while you keep our country free and safe from harm. And we are thankful for your families who spend months on end awaiting your safe arrival home when you are deployed defending our country. We are honored that you have afforded us the opportunity to share our USA-made tick removal device with you. A device that can reduce the risk of your getting potential tick-borne diseases that can be debilitating or worse. Ticks are often mistaken for insects, but they are small arachnids, like spiders and scorpions, that, along with mites, constitute the subclass Acarian. There are roughly 850 tick species found worldwide, and approximately 80 species are located here in the United States. As you venture into woods and forests, either on our soil or throughout the world, proper removal is key. Our original tick key is highly effective in the removal of ticks, and the method behind it will prevent the tick from releasing bacteria and toxins during removal. If the tick has not already spread disease while attached, you don't want to spread it during removal by traumatizing it and causing it to expel its toxins back into the host. Ticks transmit a greater variety of microorganisms, protozoa, bacteria, virus, and even helminths, also commonly known as parasitic worms, than any other anthropod vector group, and are among the most important vectors of diseases affecting humans, livestock, and pets. Ticks can also cause severe toxic conditions such as paralysis, intoxicosis, irritation, and allergy. It is recommended that you perform tick checks every two to three hours when outdoors. Most ticks do not start to transmit disease until they are attached for 24 hours, 
However, ticks carrying the Powassan virus can transmit within 15 minutes of the bite. How not to remove ticks? Don't remove ticks with your fingers. In many cases, a tick is likely to be carrying pathogens such as Lyme disease, ehrlichiosis, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, anaplasmosis, and many others that are harmful to humans and pets. Tick saliva or blood is something you don't want on your skin. Pulling on a tick, even with tweezers, can tear the mouth parts from the body of the tick and leave embedded parts in the host. Don't squeeze, crush, twist, or squash a tick. This can force spirochete and other infective body fluids through the mouth parts of the tick into the host. Don't apply substances to a tick. Applying any substances, such as petroleum jelly, fingernail polish remover, repellents, or a lighted match that upset or harm the tick almost always causes the tick to vomit the contents of its stomach back into the host. No matter how badly a tick may want to remove itself, it is not capable of doing so quickly. Ticks can live without air for long periods. Attempts to smother it may allow disease transmission for hours. Original Tick Key is the easiest to use tick removal device on Earth. Simply place the key over the tick in the slot. Pull original tick key away from the tick, sliding flush along the skin. The tick is removed easily, head and all. This design has been perfected and tested for over a decade and is responsible for the removal of thousands and thousands of ticks of all sizes, including deer ticks and dog ticks. Original tick key is fabricated from high strength anodized aluminum. This is not a weak piece of plastic and it can be stored on a key ring, lanyard, first aid kit, anywhere. Original Tick Key is the only tick removal device on the planet that uses natural forward leverage to remove the entire tick, head and all, quickly and safely without touching or squishing even the toughest engorged ticks. It is one small measure that can be taken to help keep our soldiers and their canines safe. Tick Key International Incorporated is a woman-owned business that manufactures a USA-made product. Original Tick Key is the only tick removal device that is endorsed by the American Canine Association. It is also endorsed by physicians and veterinarians. Safety is important to us. Our company is members of four safety councils, BPPPA, ASSP, NSC, and IP. We welcome the opportunity for further discussion with you. Be safe. Hi, today we're going to talk about uh, removing a tick from a dog. We're going to show you a little video on how to do that. The tick that's in this dog's ear is a, it's a dog tick. Uh, Dermacenter is the, is, is the scientific name for it, but you don't have to worry about that. Um, just when you see a tick that's in the ear of a dog, you have to say to yourself, well, how do I get it out? Um, this pretty cool little device is called a, a tick key. My, uh, my staff said I had to get these. I was not, I didn't have a choice. I had to get them. So it shows in the video how to use this tick key. But basically you're gonna take it and, and you know, you take it off of here and you turn it over and pull it, pull it through the, uh, to, to extract the tick off the ear. But a uh, pretty handy, inexpensive little device and it works great. So I highly recommend this. Okay, here we have a tick on a dog's ear. This is a female uh, dog tick, and you can see it's just attached itself down in the crevices of this ear, and it's uh, it's still alive. It's getting ready to feed. When they feed, they get they expand uh, tremendously, so they look uh, a lot bigger. Um, as we go along, we're going to take our little um, tick key. Now we're going to place it on this tick to pull out, pull out everything, including the head. There's a variety of myths about how to remove ticks, but basically you want to get down close to the skin so that the head is removed at the same time. Um, because if you don't, you, you, you leave that in there, it's, a, it's quite a reaction in the skin. Uh, but you can see, here's the tick key. It's going over top of the tick. We're trying to get it off the skin a little bit. There you go. Slide it in, and there it is. So there's the tick.